so let's talk about a favorite subject, wrestling for self-defense. In my opinion, the body lock is the second best takedown for self-defense. I've thought this for a while now. Check out my blast double videos for why I still think that's the case. But the body lock is a great option. A few keys to success would be entry. Keep your elbows tight. This helps protect your body and make, makes it easier to win double underhooks. I also like to keep my hands in the prey position. So this is a nice little self-defense detail I learned a long time ago. The prey position looks non-threatening, so it allows you to potentially defuse the situation, but your hands are in solid defensive position versus, say, by your waist, which is certainly non-threatening, tough to defend, or up in a boxer stance, which will probably lead to a fight. Now, once you enter, make sure you lock low on the spine to control your attacker's hips and to help break his balance. Finally, finish with a knee block. The commonly taught finish here is an outside trip, where you snake your leg around your attacker's leg. Then, both guys fall to the ground at the same time. Uh, you also see this in action movies all the time. Take the guy down, get rolled. That's because you're staying in parallel. I propose the knee block finish as a safer alternative. This finish has you keeping both feet on the mat or on the ground and your balance firmly centered between them. That's about it. Sorry again about the long hiatus, but thanks for checking out my latest wrestling for self-defense video. Be sure to let me know how the knee block works for you in the comments below. Thank you.